Thank you to Element for sponsoring. More on them later. I love routines. I equate them with pleasure. They are the rhythms that set our days. But sometimes my set routines don't work for me or aren't the best for me. My routines have changed in subtle but profound ways. Why don't you join me? And while I do a few things around the house, I'll tell you a little more about it. Hello, dear friends, Jennifer here, and welcome back. I'm cleaning the kitchen at night. You know, my usual. It's funny, one of my sons, when he was little, meant to say my usual, but he said my casual. So now we all say that too. (laughs) So I'm just doing my casual, cleaning the kitchen at night. I've been thinking about routines a lot lately. I have routines for everything. Some routines are healthy and beneficial. Some are productive, but not necessarily healthy. I'm always trying to fine tune my routines. I do this when I notice how stressed I am. I would be stressed afternoon and evening, morning too sometimes, and I know why. It's because I didn't have boundaries and never rested. I didn't have boundaries at night with work and even household chores. I would do these things at all hours and not rest. I know that a lot of you women can relate to this. When you have other people you look after, you can put yourself last. So not only was I not resting, but I was pretty stressed while doing things like you're seeing me do now, like closing down the kitchen. I would desperately want to be in bed reading a book, but instead I found myself here doing my casual. (laughs) So I'd have the longing to go relax, but it never seemed to come. I think that's why I cherished my bath time so much because that was the one time in the evening where I could read a book and relax and not do anything for anyone else. So I decided to put boundaries in place in my routines. I implemented a mandatory tea time, which sounds rather strict, but of course is rather lovely. And also I decided to end my work and chores earlier to make room for rest and relaxation. I'll tell you about that in a second, but I'm getting distracted right now because I found these chair slip covers on Amazon and I've been covering these old wooden chairs with them. Look how dressy they are now. Don't you love this? I'm keeping it here, flanked on either side of the long mirror, and what was quite an ugly chair is now so pretty. I love little tricks like that, don't you? Okay, I need to continue shutting down the house. So where was I? Oh yes, I used to work all hours of the day. Because I have a busy life as a mother too, I would sneak work in whenever I could. There really were no boundaries, and because I worked from home, there was no delineation between work and rest. Work could creep in whenever I wanted it to. And for over a decade, I often worked late into the evening until 11 p.m. or midnight. This isn't as bad as I'm making it sound because I do love my work. I really love it. But I wasn't resting and engaging in the conscious relaxation that my body needs. So I decided to make a change. I made what felt like a radical decision, and that was to put my laptop and work away by 7.30 in the evening. (laughs) Now let's back up a second. Obviously, I'm not only working from the moment I wake up at 5 a.m. until 7.30 in the evening. I take many time-blocking excursions throughout that time, and I mix it up with homemaking tasks like cooking and laundry, to parenting, of course, doing things with my family, and that was pretty much it. I didn't take too much time for myself in the old schedule. But, for example, after dinner, I might get back on my computer and work for an hour. And then after I read to the kids and put them to bed, I'd get back on the computer and work until midnight. So, not very healthy. So, like I mentioned, I decided to end my working day at 7.30 p.m., which was a big deal for me. I did that for several months last year and felt good benefits from it, but it still wasn't enough. I wasn't reading as much as I wanted to, and I just wasn't resting. In fact, I had a hard time resting and would feel anxiety if I rested because I knew I could get some writing done or work on a video, and that's bad. My friend Dr. Chloe Carmichael taught me that sometimes resting is the most productive thing. And as a person who values productivity, that spoke to me. 
So I made an even more radical decision and now I put my work away by 4.30. When I started doing this, it felt like some exciting illicit activity to put my work away so early. I then had the entire evening to do what I wanted well, within reason. I still usually have to clean the kitchen and fold laundry, but still. This opened up hours to read books, real tangible books, not just audiobooks while working on the computer. I could also take long lingering baths, play the piano, go on walks, play games with my family, hang out more with my kids. It's been revolutionary. So yes, implementing the boundary of no work after 4.30 has been one of the best moves I've made. I want to take a minute to tell you about Element, who have kindly sponsored this video. You know how much I love Element, friends. They are one of the greatest supporters of my channel, and I love their electrolytes. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Element is formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs. They're important to me because I do intermittent fasting, so I'm always thinking about replenishing my electrolytes in a safe way. I love the flavors that Element has. Chocolate is amazing. They also have citrus, raspberry, watermelon, orange. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. So get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. This deal is only available through my link. You just go to DRI inklmnt.com forward slash daily C. Okay, so here's what this shift in routine has done for me. I'm slowly reprogramming my subconscious to enjoy and completely surrender to rest and relaxation, which has been a long time coming. If you're someone who values productivity like I do, you might have trouble relaxing too because there's always a load of laundry that can go in the dryer or a chapter to write in a book or something to film or something to clean or emails to respond to or meals to cook and dishwashers to empty. Did I already say all this? You get the idea. That's Sisyphus. The work never ends. If you wanted a refresher on your Greek mythology, here's a description of Sisyphus from the World History Encyclopedia. Sisyphus was a king of Corinth and became infamous for his general trickery when he twice cheated death. Sisyphus ultimately got his comeuppance when Zeus dealt him the eternal punishment of forever, quote, rolling a boulder up a hill in the depths of Hades, end quote. <laughs> now, if that doesn't sound terrible, I don't know what does, but sometimes our never-ending chore list can feel like rolling a boulder up a hill in the depths of Hades. There, I said it. So what is the opposite of that in Greek mythology? Elysium in Greek mythology, originally the paradise to which heroes on whom the gods conferred immortality were sent. So yes, that's what I'm looking for, Elysium. And in this case, my Elysium is rest and relaxation something I have not granted myself the pleasure of in way too long. Now I'm claiming it back and calling it productive because it's good for my health it's good to set boundaries. It's good for my kids to see me relaxing and resting. They're not used to seeing me do that, and that's weird. So I've been reading so many books. I just finished this one on Dorothy Wordsworth. It was fascinating. I have a few more on the to-read list. I bought a thriller and this book, Lives Like Loaded Guns, about the feuds in Emily Dickinson's family. So the hard line of work ending at 4.30 and maybe a little light housework after that but not much, has been wonderful for my overall health. And that's the major shift in my routine. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to know about your routine. Have you shifted it to accommodate more rest? Let me know in the comments. And thank you to Element for sponsoring. Don't forget Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. Go to drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash daily C. Keep calm and remain classy, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.